and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV. Now, finding the best price for your favourite gadgets can be a little bit difficult. So, I met up with Dom Littlewood to find out exactly what are the best tech buying tips. Now, I'll tell you what nobody thinks of is when you look on an internet site, people think you've just got to pay the price. You yeah. haven't. Find the site, find the camera, okay. find the contact us button and get a phone number for them. Then ring them up and say, hello there, I like the camera, ABCX123, whatever it is. So you're going to do us a deal, that's the secret, always haggle. Don't think just because it's on that laptop, you can't. Do you know, I've never thought about doing that. You no one ever see does. the number, but you think, oh, that's just in case of emergency, in case you get stuck and you're not quite sure what you're doing on the site. You've got to be cheeky. Absolutely. Yeah? Dom is my mm. man. The touching, feeling the products, yeah. scanning the barcodes, doing your homework, having a look, get the feel of it. You know, cheap. Can I, can I actually feel the camera on you, Scott? Now, that's one thing you don't get with the internet. No doubt we can have a little deal with that camera. Okay? We'll try. Yeah, actually, I like that. <laughs> Straight away, so we can have a try. Brilliant. Right? Which is good. Now, if the price is right, mm -hmm. we will buy this today. Okay? We're not window shop, we're not wasting your time, but it's got to be below 200. Cannot do that. Who's at the all. governor, Cam? Are you the, are you the boss here? I'm in charge for these. Okay, who can give us a better deal if you're not going to do it? Nobody. What about the big boss? Nope. Are you the big boss? Nope. Are you the biggest boss as far as this goes? Nope. But people in shops like this, they don't mind the good old-fashioned bartering. you just got to make sure it's fun. Arse a bit off, be a bit cheeky. They don't mind. They love it. Oh, here we go, Dom. What, what, what? What are you spotting? Clearance signs. Yeah, but it's always worth asking. So, yeah. look, you know, I like this, 120 quid. What was it before the discount? Yeah. You know, and then they say, oh, it was 125. And you say, are you joking me? It's a clearance item. Well, a little bit more off than that. Yeah, no, you absolutely. Know? So, you always got to make sure you know what discount you're getting. But also, don't forget, it says clearance. They want rid of it. They probably haven't got the boxes. It's been on display. You haggle for a bit more than that. I bet you that, even though it's reduced to 90, we could still get more money off that. Okay. Now, I'll tell you something else. Supermarkets and department stores quite often have stuff which they, they need to knock out either because the boxes are damaged or people have brought it back. Yeah. And quite often they don't put it out until the unsociable hours when they don't get a lot of business, like in the middle of the night. They're 24 hour <laughs> stores, that sort of thing, to try and draw people in to those particular hours when they want more people in the shop. There's no point in putting this stuff out at really Good busy time. times. So it's just, yeah. it's just gone. Six o'clock yeah. on Christmas Eve, they're not going to do that, are they? No. You know, they don't want people queuing up and rubbing through the bins, do they? So, yeah, timing's perfect. You can just ask okay. them, say, when do you stick out your, your, your reduced items? Okay. Yeah, so, two o'clock in the morning, right, right.